Given the conversation you just had with the control room, <laughs> I am dying to see sidebar stories. I can't stories. wait to see what's going on. <laughs> this is kind of like an Olympic sidebar story, which I think we're going to be talking a lot about in the coming days and weeks, because I don't know if you noticed over the last, well, I guess eight years, since the Winter Olympics in 2010, the Norwegian curling men's team yeah. have really gone above and beyond with their style, with their pants. Oh, because the pants. Before, I think I remember yes, something Okay, that. so before 2010, like typically curlers would wear black and white, yeah. sort of muted colors, and then Norway took it to the next level. Sure. So let's take let's a look at some of the history of Norway's uh, curling pants. They are back this year, by the way, in full form. So let's take oh, a look at boy, some they of them. they are peacock. That was 2014, that was in Sochi. Uh, yeah. Wonderful. Yeah. Just great. Florals are uh, in. There we go, yeah. That's right. That was the 2000, what was that one? That looks like... That could have been Sochi as yeah, well. I think that's Sochi. Yeah, so they had a couple different outfits. Yeah. But really, I mean, they stand out. Wow. wow. The swirlies also were 2014 in Sochi. Amazing. And hopefully we have... Yeah. Oh, that was, guys, that was the now original. that's uh, interesting. That was 2010. That's the genesis of it all. That's now, right. Are that's they what good curlers? Yes. Oh, and that's a great shot. Yes. That is this year. <laughs> Those are the icicle, <laughs> that's a great shot. This is the icicle um, theme, I guess, yes. this year, which so, is pretty amazing. They have 11 outfits this year. 11? 11? Yeah, because depending on how many rounds they right, go, they right? they turned it up to 11, exactly. They turned it up. Run. I love that, okay. Uh, so speaking of trippy, um, this, okay, I have a question for you. Yeah. How do you sell 300 boxes of Girl Scout cookies in six hours? You buy them yourself. Yeah. Well, that's one option. <laughs> The other option is you sell them outside of a marijuana dispensary. Oh, I love and that. And that's what one Girl Scout did. Genius. Isn't it a genius? In six hours, 300 I love boxes. Her. That's now, amazing. I have to say, this is in San Diego, this was not an accredited area where she was supposed to hand it. They say, like, these are certain areas. Mm -hmm. But what she did to get around it, there was a little bit of a gray area. She didn't stand outside the store necessarily. She put all the boxes in her wagon and walked the sidewalk. She just kept going she up. She kept going she's, up listen, and down. She wins. She is gonna, she wins. She's going to do well in this new economy. Yeah, she, what, she, she knew the rules. She knew them so well, she knew how to get around them. That's right. Right? And apparently, uh, the news crew showed up and then carried a bit of the story. And then all of these other Girl Scouts showed up at the dispensary uh, as well. I know. Uh, and this bodes well for the Girl Guides because they are teaching entrepreneurship. I agree. I and like apparently, it. they had uh, one strain of weed there that was called Girl Scout GSC. So they really bought into that as well. So <laughs> it was like a whole big... It's a nice pairing. It was a nice pairing. Lovely. Well, go. thank you very much for that. <laughs>